call that calamity corner because it usually is. But Mike, I've been out here since Thursday. I've done everything in the world. I've gotten, I got a new car to drive. I've been given trophies. People have given me hugs and kisses. But this is what I wanted. This is what I've been waiting for. For these cars to come off of this corner and guys, it's showtime. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing today, boys. Even to turn two. And this is a choke point. The field accordions here, and they still look like they're on a pace lap. Well, this is what I've been waiting for all weekend long to see what's going to happen as we see William Byron takes the lead from Kyle Larson coming up over the top of the hill at 3A. But right here, here's that new section. I've been waiting to see can you run side by side through this section and for how long? Yeah, I think you can in this, uh, Jeff. There's not a lot of dirt and gravel, gravel down in the uh, outer crew there. And I think as this race wears on, that's going to get more and more difficult. Down the hill, into the carousel, off to the drag strip. And Mike, that is huge down here. It's huge uphill, and it's also huge down. And here's what you don't realize. They're going uphill to turn seven. There's a little incline going up to turn seven. And you can really get deep into the braking zone there. It's going to heat up those brakes a lot, but you can make some great passes there. Yeah, I think Still side seven. by side, by the yeah, way, turn I, seven. I think turn seven is a really, really great passing zone because it's wide. You can mess up and go a little high, go a little low. No surprise. Kurt Busch, oh, 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 damage. A little being, damage. Being really aggressive. I think maybe too aggressive in that first lap. Made a little contact. Got to be careful. He rubbed into my 95 car. Chase Elliott. Goes for second and gets it. Larson stuck on the outside. Now remember, Larson's been on the pole here many times, and he knows what the pace needs to be to save those rear tires. I really believe he's being extra conservative right now. Larson has started on the pole three times, Mike. His his, his average finish is 19. Wow. Two points above. The oh, spin! Mike and McDowell. that is McDowell, veteran road racer. No caution, though. Did he have some help? Looked like he was trying to go to the inside of Jimmy Johnson. Gets to his rear bumper, and there goes the four oh. of Kevin Harvick trying oh. to sneak his nose in there, makes contact. Yeah, the four. Stage one, William Byron and a Hendrick Chevrolet comes across the line to pick up his first stage win. See and I, the first laps he's ever led on a road course. And that was in dominating fashion, too. I'm going to see if I can rip me a car like that. I like that <laughs> car. <laughs> pressure. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Paul Menard, Paul Menard turn 11. Got to hold on. Got no kid. After the 77. Oh, man, it's so frustrating when you spin out right there. Right, yellow and yeah, black. Yeah, he he's kind of putting a block, I believe, is at um, McDowell. Yep. Yeah, you can see he moved down, and McDowell was just already committed to that braking zone, and I just don't think he could get it slowed down enough to stay out of the, the, the right rear of the 21 Menard. Stage Mike, win of 2019. By about three seconds in front of Brad Keselowski, William Byron, Joey Logano, and Ricky Stenhouse. When we got a restart, Chase Elliott was a leader, chose the inside, which is now the outside. I think Truex learned quite a bit from that. You know what Truex did? He slid that nine Whoa. up the hill a little bit, but I don't think the nine liked that so much. Hold on, Blaney now. Look at him coming to the outside, going into second. Now, Blaney's a pretty good little road race. Remember, he run the Roval. And look at Benedetto right up there in sixth place. Why? Right. Oh, you see Benedetto going wide there. Oh, Blaney's going to go to the inside of the Ooh, 19. Did tight. they make contact? Hey, Boy, that Blaney's got a fast car right here, boys. And he's aggressive. Oh, this could get ugly. I, I do think this is. This could oh, get ugly. Chase I, I do think this is the one area where the advantage goes to a couple of these guys behind Truex, even though they're running side by side right now. It takes a couple laps for Truex's tires to come in for him to have that long run speed. Now, this will work in Blaney's favor. He has the inside. That's the preferred line. But you and get, going to the S's, there he goes. Yeah, you get a lot of momentum on that outside, like uh, we saw Chase Hill there in the nine track position. And, and uh, when you make oh. that pit stop and wow. see a little shot there with 18 in the back of the 12, and guess what that does? That opens the door. I think that was, you want me to go around you or through you? Take your choice. I'm telling you, Ryan Blaney is not too happy right now, the 18 of Kyle Busch. <laughs> Here it is, up and over 3A. Short shoot down to four. Whoa, whoa, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kyle's going to blame that one here, you 
Oh, oh spinner, William Byron, or rather, Michael McDowell turned 10. Wow. Byron had just gone by. And that's the second time we've seen that 34 car around. I'm afraid so. Maybe the third. The pits. Oh, he does. Yes, I saw Byron oh, going into the corner, and he's gone. Wait, was that a little and help from the 22 of Logano there, or did the 34 just get wide? There's some debris that gets put Ooh. out there from the tire rubber. And even if a caution comes out, could be an advantage to him. Oh, he gets wide. I think he has a problem. Is he had a flat tire? <laughs> no, he was getting yeah. a drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting well, a drink of water, and he threw the bottle out. <laughs> well, he didn't want a caution to come out by throwing that hey, bottle. If you won't talk to me, I'm just going to get a drink of water and yeah. ride. <laughs> I saw him go wide off the turn, too. I thought yeah, he had no, it goes it way it. out to the edge of the racetrack. And <laughs> yeah. That's a bag, it's a bag of ice. It's a bag of ice that he had stuffed down his uniform. <laughs> White flag in the wind. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Five times in NASCAR history, the final pass of the race has been Kyle Busch passing Martin Truex for the win. And one mistake that can happen is coming up right here. This is turn three, the left-hander going to a right-hand turn three. Downhill into turn four, you can very easily out, uh, you lose traction breaking into this corner. I just watched Kyle Busch through those two, turns two and three, a, uh, and his car was sideways. <laughs> I mean, he's pushing hard as he can. He's out of grip. I think he's, I think he's pretty well had it. And, and I think this is why Mark Truex Jr. has been so successful today. His car rotates in the middle of the carousel and launches and drives off of this corner so well that Kyle Busch can't get close enough to him to even outbreak him in turn seven. Yeah. I, again, I just go back to what, what Cole, Pern, Cole Pern said. We got to hope Kyle Busch is using up his stuff because we know how aggressive he is, and I believe that's what happened. The only last lap pass at Sonoma for the win so far. 1991 when Larry Max driver Davey Allison passed Ricky Rudd for the win. Then, of course, there was Tony Stewart and Denny Hamlin. But that was a race of a different sort. And I was going to say, all those are questionable of whether they were actually passes. <laughs> Look at Martin. He looks back and says, I think I got this. And guess what? There it is. I think he's got wow. it, too. Six car lengths in the middle of turn 11, and it might as well be six miles. Around the final corner to the checkered flag, Martin Truex Jr. Let it go, buddy. It's Clayton Hughes, a spotter. 23rd career victory for Truex. He won at Charlotte in May. Fourth win of the year. And it's his fourth season with at least four wins as Ryan Blaney crosses the line in third. Matt DiBenedetto in fourth, and Denny Hamlin rounds out the top five. You know what, Manny told me? Uh, we talked to him, you know, in a pre race. Michael and I did. I'm I put my hand out to she's I don't want no sh I don't want no handshake I want a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Good job buddy. Well, that hug brought him home in fourth place. Really impressive. This is the seventh time that Truex and Bush have finished one two. And the score is four to three third time that Truex has been the winner. Among those two now teammates. Martin joins. Jeff Gordon as the only drivers to win in consecutive years at Sonoma. Giving the fans a show over there in the carousel. He's saying thank you for bringing that carousel back Sonoma Raceway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the official tire of NASCAR. Martin's out of the car. Let's join the celebration with Regan Smith. Martin Shrex Jr., third time at Sonoma, fourth time this season. You get to victory lane here. What an impressive run at the end of that race on old tires. Kyle had fresher tires and was coming for you. How did you hold him off? Just dug down deep and tried to be smooth and uh, hit my marks. And you know, luckily, I was able to have a big enough gap where I could settle in and not feel too much pressure. But it was definitely difficult. Um, <clears throat> that was the longest run of the race there at the end. For us on tires and uh, it felt terrible the last 20 laps I mean the last 10 it was just like on ice just no grip anywhere but just really proud really proud of all these guys and um, everybody on this Bass Pro Shops Camry everybody at TRD everybody back at JGR all the fans just uh, auto owners uh, and everybody who uh, who helps make this thing possible what a what a season we've turned us into and um, I want to say thank you to DW for all you've done to it for us buddy it's been uh, it's been an honor to uh, 
to watch replays with you calling the races and stuff. I mean, it's just uh, I've been a big fan a long time, so I want to thank you for that and uh, wish you the best going forward. But this group, man, they're unbelievable. Hopefully we can keep this going. A number of drivers look at your data at this racetrack. They can't duplicate it. What is it that you have figured out on this track that they can? I can't tell you that, man. Come on. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, through the years, you've seen guys figure things out, and it lasts a while. And, um, you know, I wasn't sure this weekend how, how it was going to hold up, what we've been doing, you know, with the carousel in the big left-hand corner. It, it really changed things up and took a while to figure that out in practice. Um, but luckily, we were able to, you know, just make the right the right, the right tweaks. And um, I had confidence that when the track got hot and slick on the long runs, that we, we'd have what we needed. It was just a matter of if we had enough speed to get there, and we did today.